Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help Black Noise with his custom N. So he says, is it possible to recover HP and MP by a percentage based on your custom N variables? So if I set my variables to 50 and instead of recovering 50 HP, it recover 50% of my party's HP? Not exactly, but I'll show you how to do it. So here's our custom in. Um, just going to show text to let the, know, let the player know what's going on. Custom in, 50% HP MP restore. You could also put this sort of script in a common event and call it with an item. But we're going to start out with a fade out screen and then we're going to play our music effect. And you would do all your negative uh, states, you would remove all your negative states right here. Change state. Remove like poison and blind and everything. You do all that up there and whatnot. But he, how you do the 50% HP and MP, you're going to use a variable. You only need two variables, and you can use them for all the actors. But you'll have to do this for each actor. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to control variables, and you're going to create a new variable and call it member HP. Now you're going to set it to game data. Go down to game data and select right here, and select the first actor and put in max HP. And then you're going to control variables again, that same variable, except this time we're going to uh, take member HP, same one that we just uh, put a value to, and we're going to divide it by two. Um, you can use any of these uh, operations and multiple operations in a row to get the percentage that you want. And since you said 50%, we're setting it to 100% of its value. Now we're dividing it by two. And now then we're going to do the same thing with the MP. So we're creating a new variable called member MP, and then we're going to set it to game data, max MP, of your first actor. Then you're going to divide that uh, control variables again, divide that same member MP by two, and then we're going to change HP. So you select the first uh, actor that you just declared your variables uh, from, increase by that variable member HP. Then you're going to control uh, change H, uh, change MP, doing the same thing, fix for the first actor, Driftwood increase it'll be whatever actor you want uh, and then for the oper operand you'd use the same variable member MP so those are right here under actor change HP change MP change state all of that stuff is right there you can use that same variable for your next actor so after you get that uh, done you can basically copy paste this paste that down here now we're gonna change it to the next actor so we're going to go member HP, set it to the game data of this member, max HP. This can stay the same because we're just dividing it by two. Now we're going to change the member MP game data to this actor. Once again, this stays the same because we're just dividing it by two. But we need to change this because we're not selecting uh, that member anymore. We're going to this member. So now we've uh, declared the variables based off of this actor and then restored half of that actor's HP, MP, half MP. And we've got three actors here, so let's look at that in game. Right here I've just got an event that's going to take HP and MP if we walk on it, so that's how we'll get damaged. So now we've got rid of all of our HP and our MP except for one. And you see we restored half of our HP and half of our MP. You only need two variables and you can get uh, all your party members done in one event. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you did, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Thank you for asking your special request. If you have any more, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome, and we will see you in the next tutorial.